today, guys. The following clip is about equations with inequalities and how to solve them. Enjoy. When dealing with equations that has inequalities in it, we treat these inequalities as if they were equal signs. So let's go over what these inequality mean. These one, this one is smaller than, this one is bigger than, smaller than or equal to, and bigger than or equal to. Which means if we would use one of these two, the answer can be smaller than or equal to whichever number I come up with. And this one is bigger than or equal to whichever number. These two will not equal the number, but only be smaller than that number or bigger than that number. So let's look at this example. One thing that is extremely important to remember before we go into the example is that when we are multiplying or dividing by a negative, like we have over here, then the symbol we're using swaps around. Right, let's go into the example. So the example we're doing is, four, is negative 4x is smaller than x. So we need to find the value for x where this equation is correct. What we need to do now is we need to get the x alone on one side of the equal sign. Like I said earlier, we need to treat this inequality as an equal sign. So we do exact same like we would solving basic algebraic equations. What do we need to do to get rid of this negative 4? Is we need to divide it by negative 4 because it's the opposite of what is happening right now. So I need to divide by negative 4 on this side. When I do it on the left, I need to do it on the right as well. Remember the very important rule that when we are dividing or multiplying by negative, the symbol swaps. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to rewrite my symbol facing the other way. After I've swapped my symbol around, now I can simplify these. So negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, therefore my x is alone. And a positive times a negative is a negative. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. And this is how you solve inequalities. The numbers you treat exactly like if the inequality was an equal symbol. The only time it is not treated as an equal symbol is when we are multiplying or dividing by a negative. And this is how we treat inequalities in algebra. I hope this clip helped guys. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone it might possibly benefit. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Please find the links to the rules of algebra over here as well as the symbol rule. See you next time. Bye.